Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Bedardin and in this video we will learn how to use the graph widget to display the ADC converted values. In this first part of the video, we will learn how to set up the graph widget in TouchGFX Designer. I will start by launching TouchGFX Designer. I'll give my application a name. STM32 H7 B ADC Graph Widget. I change the application template to STM32 H7B Discovery Board, select, and I'll go with a blank UI. Create. Now the application template gets downloaded. Here I have my canvas. I start by placing my widgets. I start by background white box for my, my background. Cover the canvas here and then I will add my key widget today with the graph widget. Okay. I will cover my screen here like this. Okay, now I will start by changing the properties of the graph widget on the right panel. I'll st start by adding some margin to the top. I'll add like 10 pixels and to the bottom 30 and to the left 68. And here I'll have my labels here. And then I will change the dyna dynamic behavior. I will select the scroll behavior and every, every time a data point is added all the previous data points visible also need to be redisplayed. The number of data points I'll change it to 160. The value range the minimum zero the maximum I will set it to 3500 and here my ADC maximum Converted value is 3300 millivolt. And here I'll use 3500, a bit more than the, the maximum that the ADC can give me. And then I will use, use custom visible data point, and the last point is 99. Uh, the last is 99. So total is 100. Then I will use the element color here. I'll change it to something else and probably go with a red color. And then I'll start by setting the grid lines. So for the major division, I'll select the color, the black color, and then the interval to 50. Line width to 2. I'll do minor division as well change the color to to black interval to maybe 10 and then the line width I'll leave it to 1 I'll do the same thing for the horizontal grid lines so for the major division I'll use the black color and the interval to 1000 line width to 2. Minor division, change the color to black and then the interval to 500. Line width, I'll leave it to 1. And then for the labels, I, I won't have x uh, x-axis labels. I'll use only the y axis labels. I'll use the major labels and then the interval, I set the interval to 500 and change the color to black. Okay, now I have my graph widget set up. I'll generate the code. 
and then once the code is generated, I'll browse to the touchfx files by clicking here on the bottom right. Thank you for joining me in this first part of the video. In the second part, we'll see how to set up the ADC and pass the converted values to the graph widget.